What's up? What's up, guys? We are here live with Pop Fusion Top 10. Let's get some people on here. Hi, how's it going? Gonna wait a little while for a few people to join on. Hi, Bree. So, what's up, guys? You are now tuned in to Pop Fusion Top Ten. I am your host, Tyra Prude, and today we are gonna be we're gonna be chatting with the lovely Samantha Mumba in a few seconds. We're gonna just let a few people come in, and then hopefully Samantha will find her way in also so we can get this started who's excited if you are drop some fire inside drop a thumbs up hi the booking connection i see you guys how are you guys doing today we're gonna just wait a little while for the live to get a little bigger oh here's samantha okay okay Hi, Samantha. Okay, we're getting ready to bring you on in. We're so excited to talk. Okay. Okay, waiting for Samantha. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How oh, God, am I very close to the screen? Sorry, I mustn't have. No, it's part. fine. I, I am too. I'm like, let me like back, back a little bit too. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> let me fall back a little bit. Right. <laughs> How are you? I am good. How are you? I am good. Thank you so much for taking time out to talk with us. We're so excited. I am excited to do it as well. It's nice, you know, especially at the moment, there's like no social life. Oh my God, my puppies up here. Um, so it's nice just to be doing something, you know? I know, right? No social life. Like literally we're living at home right now. So at it's, home. you got to do what I'm you got to do. Hour right now so this is fabulous <laughs> you know what I, I was drinking wine earlier but i left mine upstairs so i mean it is what it is it but, doesn't matter you had the right intention so i had the right intention it was like the prep before the interview right <laughs> so you were pre-gaming literally pre-gaming yes <laughs> <laughs> but again, we're so excited to have you on today. Um, for those of you guys who are just joining, we are now live with Pop Fusion Top 10. And today our guest is, as you can see, the lovely Samantha Mamba. <laughs> First, I just have to say, it's a huge honor to just be talking to you in general right now. Oh my I God, mean, thank you. You are like a pop legend. I mean, I was literally, you know, of course, did my research and everything. I'm like, oh my God, this girl was like popping. Literally, Britney Spears <laughs> era, early 2000s. <laughs> Like, it was literally an amazing time when you Thank were. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so how have things been? I know we're in the pandemic right now. How have you been maintaining during this time? Um, you know, to be honest, I kind of love being at home, if I'm being completely honest, you know. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, there's a part of me that kind of loves the excuse of, you know, I, I feel like normally there's kind of that pressure to always like almost feel like you're in a rat race and it's like god am i doing enough today am i you know being productive yes. enough whereas it's like i kind of feel like we're all in the same boat mm -hmm. in that regard so um i don't know i think this has been a good year that i think we all didn't even realize we needed to be completely honest yeah. i think it's kind of changed a lot of people's perspectives on what's important what's not and um, and so yeah you know i think I, i'm okay with this yeah, I totally agree. I mean, I'm working from home right now. And in my mind, I'm just like, okay, what am I going to do when it's time to go back to office? Because I've gotten so used to being home. I know. So I completely agree. It's just like you're just chilling, hanging out with family. And then, like you said, remembering what's important. I think that's been the biggest takeaway for me, at least, yes. during this time. So yes, for sure. I totally agree. Well, of course, let's just go ahead and dive in. So we're here to promote your two new singles, thank Cool you, thank and you. Process. So yes. first of all, I love both of them. And, you know, when I was listening for Process in particular, it was so fitting for the times that we're in right now. Now. yeah so can you just go ahead and you know let us know like the concept behind process and then we'll go ahead and talk about um cool after that no absolutely um you know i kind of very much so felt as well um so i released both singles two weeks apart which in theory is absolute madness um but i kind of just really 
process just really resonates with me. Um, and I really... Oh yeah, I kind of muted a little. Yeah. <laughs> kind of summed up um, what this year has been. Um, yeah, it's been very hard for people. I think it's just been, it's been a process, you know, as is everything in life. But I just think this, you know, very much so has been that. Um, so it just felt like the perfect timing for me to, to, to drop it now, you know, and into next year. You know, I don't think, you know, on New Year's Eve, it'll be like, happy new year and the world goes back to normal. I think we're still right. the same shit show for, <laughs> for another while. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I just, there's no necessarily rhyme or reason behind the timing of now, but it just, it felt right, you know, so. Yeah, it was very much like the best time for me when I was listening to it. I'm just like, wow, like, you know, like you said in the song, just trust the process. Things yeah. will be better through time. And I think during this time, we need that moment to just kind of recenter and remember, like, things happen for a reason. We well, may sorry, not understand yet, calling. but in order. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm just going to keep shooting the voicemail and he'll, he'll get the hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, it just it helps you just recenter, you know, and just bring it back, bring yeah. yourself back in to understand that there's a lot going on, but we will get through it. So yeah, no, absolutely, it, and it really does apply to everything in life. You know, whether you're having a shit day, a shit week, a shit month, you know, things mm -hmm. thankfully never do stay the same. You know, I think if I think back to you know, even when you were in school, and I'd be like, oh my god, this is the worst day of my life, you know, and you couldn't yeah. see past that. It's like. Well, here we are still, you know, things have a way of working themselves out. So, um, yeah. yeah. And then hopefully it's just with the blink of an eye. Like, I'm literally hoping <laughs> by, I, I'm one of the people who are hoping like things will magically change when 2021 starts. But, you know, you just I love your I'm optimism. Right. <laughs> I wish. I love your optimism. And, and look, who knows? That's the thing. Maybe it will, you know, who knows? Um, yeah. But we're in it now. So, you know. Uh, what can you do? I mean, yeah. Well, it seems <laughs> like you were doing a lot because, this, okay, so did you shoot the music video for um, Process during this time? I did. You know, we actually shot uh, both videos um, within the same week. Um, and obviously, they, I knew they were both coming out. But also, I was kind of afraid that everything was going to fully shut down again. So yeah. just really kind of wanted them in the can and done just in case so that I could still be as productive as possible from my living room. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we did. We shot them pretty close. Um, yeah. So what was that process like? Like, did you have to take a million COVID tests or like, what was production like in a sense? Yeah. So, um, so the, the director, Mark Cleary is a dear friend of mine. Um, and he's a COVID compliance officer as well. So, um, he was on top of everything in terms of PPE gear, making sure everybody filled out what they needed to fill out. Tests were done, you know, all of that. And that was really, um, somewhat where the, the concept for the cool video came in because we were able to film everybody individually rather than, you know, having a big dance break or dancers or like a scene, yeah. you know. Um, so, yeah. So, you know, we kind of just did what we could with, you know, the resources that we had and just with the climate, just how everything is. Yeah, well, it was amazing. It looked Thank amazing. You. you couldn't even tell that it was COVID. So Love it. Yeah. Love it. But Speaking of cool, so let's just go ahead and talk about that also. Yes. I personally love it. It's my favorite track. It's like, you know, that go-to where we're, we know we're sad. We know, we know we're laying around the house. But this is the song to just get us a beat, you know. It's like the girls' night out song. Yes. Girls inside right now. Yes, but, you know, yes. The song is to turn <laughs> up and just have fun with your friends. And, of course, like your lovers. So kind of yes. let us give us an insight on the concept between cool very much so for me I just wanted you know I've been recording um since 2018 um mm -hmm. and I just was kind of feeling like you know what is missing of you know what I've kind of done and I just wanted like a vibey turn up bop song you know um, yeah and that's really what it is and I it know is. it was almost <laughs> a risky first single to drop because it's not even indicative of the rest of the record really but um I just love it so much um and I think it's one of those songs you love or you hate you know um mm -hmm. But yeah, I love it. So, so that's I don't think it was risky at all to drop it first. Thank I think you. that was the perfect song to drop. Right Thank because, you. You know, like we said, it's we're so uh, we're under so much stress right now that it's yeah. really needed. You know, to just let your hair down, drink some wine, and dance around your living room or you know whatever yes. you will personally do during this time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so well. 
of course, you have a lot of people in the chat. Everyone's going crazy because you're on live with us. I was hoping, could you possibly sing something for us? Oh my Either God. Cool or no. possible. No pressure, <laughs> but you know, I think the fans would love to see it. Everybody no, it's excited. no pressure at all. You know, it's a funny thing. I'm a, I, what star sign are you? I'm sorry. What star sign are you? I'm a Taurus slash Oh, I've been coming around so many Tauruses recently. I love that. Um, so I'm a Capricorn. I'm like the overthinker perfectionist. Um, so that would just kill me to just be like, just sing a couple of lines, sat on my couch, you know. Um, at, to be totally honest, I'm really looking into even dressing, you know, making a set from home from my garden and doing a live set with, you know, a, a spaced out band or just something, just making a vibey thing. I really want to do an mm -hmm. online performance because that's the one thing that I feel is missing you know like promoting and releasing the music but not performing it or I'd be normally doing club gigs by now and you know mm -hmm. all of that so I'm even missing kind of that connect with people but there's that part of me that's like no that's not perfect yeah <laughs> you know it's not gonna be perfect I, we're not doing I, it I 100% understand that's why I said no pressure because I know <laughs> no, but I love that you asked thank you because you know some people would be like yes I love doing that I and I do I just need it to be how I envision it to be, you know, yes. when I'm doing stuff like that. Yeah, I'm I'm exactly the same. But <laughs> I mean, with you saying like you wanted to do like something live, I mean, yes. you know, they've been having the versus battles and things like that. So I mean, hey, maybe we can see something like that soon. Of course, like on your own time, but. <laughs> <laughs> right, I know, I'd be like overthinking it. It'll be a year later. <laughs> um, look, I just, I'm all about trying to go with what this new flow is. So, mm -hmm. you know, for the longest time I've held off, but I really do feel like at some point, you know, I do want to perform it. I do want to have that content out there. Um, I would love to have, you know, a live, you know, band and have that whole kind of thing come together. So it's just a case mm -hmm. of figuring out what the best way to go about that would be, yeah. or, you know. Um, and even if it was just, you know, me doing an Insta Live just to share, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's like yes. Insta lives are big right now. Like, I love it. I'm so it, new to all of this, but I'm enjoying yes. this. Yes. I'm new to it too. Honestly, this is my first Instagram live interview. So I'm like, oh. okay, I hope I log her in for it, right? I hope I do everything the correct way. I love but, this. Yeah, but it's really the new wave. And like literally on my timeline, all I see is live, 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 live. Me so too. I think that's a great idea. But of course, like make sure you let us know when you do do the live set so we can I post know. and share and thank you. Know, you. I get would everyone appreciate in. that. Yes, that would be amazing. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So okay. So with the songs cool and process, um, I read that these are actually the first singles that you released from your own record label. Yes. So tell us about that. How has that been? What was the journey and process with that? Honestly, it's been really empowering. Um, I kind of, you know, I took a long hiatus from music for a billion reasons. One mm -hmm. of them being that I was just over the industry, the business side of it. Another being that I was, you know, I came from an era of having that kind of big machine and that big push behind me. And so that just stressed me out. Just, I just couldn't get my head around how I could do it without that, you know? Um, yeah. And of course now everything is different and so many people are independent. Um, but it's been amazing, you know, having creative control, really kind of being involved in every single aspect, you know. Um, I, I love it. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed it. I'm really proud to, you know, kind of have my own little company and my own publishing company. You know, it's, 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 it's cool. So um, I highly suggest and recommend it to any other artists. If there's anybody else watching, um, unsure, I think, you know, start that LLC regardless, I think. And, you know, even aside from music. If you have an idea, you know, get that LLC in and, mm -hmm. and go for it. And, you know, now that we're home, it's it's kind of so much yes. easier, too, because you have so much Absolutely. time to brainstorm. And you have so much time to put it together for yourself so that yeah. it can be perfect, like, for us. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yes. No, absolutely. No, I know tourists definitely don't play around with that either. <laughs> no, not at all. It's so yeah, many projects no, that I'm like pulling my sleeve <laughs> to get out because it's, I'm nervous. <laughs> right. So, yeah, no, now is definitely the time. I, I highly, highly recommend this for sure. Yeah. So what advice would you give to, you know, up and coming artists? I know like you've, you've had a taste of both. You've had a record deal. Yes. You've had, now you're independent. I know yes. you said you've recommended, but like, I guess what are steps or, you know, just a route that you believe that they should take in order to pursue, you know, being independent? Um, I mean, you know, I think, and this is just personally, 
I think it's so important to understand the business side and because that's really what it boils down to. You know, you can be mm -hmm. as pretty as you want to be. You can be the best singer, the best dancer, the best whatever. If you don't know the business side of this, ultimately, you know, um, I feel like you're kind of just setting yourself up for failure. There's a book that I recommend now to everybody. It's called Everything You Need to Know About the Music Business. The author is Donald Passman. Um, and he updates it. I think there's, I, I need to actually buy the newer edition. I think it's up to now the 10th. Um, edition where he updates, you know, when things change and, you know, industries and social media, all of that, but it's just so informative. It's one of those books that you can literally highlight things, go back to. Um, but it just, I wish I'd read that 20 years ago. Wow. Um, but I learned a lot. But, and, and obviously, I mean, that's, you know, minimal. But I think um, aside from that, I think just really going with your gut instinct, trusting yourself. Um, you know, I don't think that will ever steer anybody wrong in any profession. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, you just have to be ready to put the work in. I think a lot of, you know, especially kind of younger, super talented kids, you know, just see, oh, let me just become, you know, TikTok famous or I'll just do this and it'll yes. go viral. You know, there's so much work that goes into it, as amazing as that is. Um, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I think you just have to be willing to put the work in. Yeah, that's, that's amazing yeah. advice. So anybody on live, if you're listening now, go get yes. that book and do yes, the work. <laughs> highly recommend this, most definitely. That's amazing. So, say, okay, you've been in the business for a long time. Yes. Now that we're in like 2020 and moving forward, music Ooh. has changed tremendously since, you know, since you began. And I feel yeah. like your, the music that you um, made in the early 2000s, I feel like it flu influenced a lot of music today, but yeah. there's still like a, a change, a difference. So yeah. how do you stay, you know, up to date and stay relevant in a time where music is so much different than what it was back then? You know, I think honestly, that's just a natural thing. Like if I was still the same artist that I was when I was 15, I was, I co-wrote a lot of my original stuff when I was 15 doing that. So if I was still that same artist and that same person, I shouldn't be in this industry. You know, I don't right. even think it's a case of, oh shit, you know, what's the hot thing now? Let me try and get on that wave. Like, no, I'm just doing what applies to me at where I'm at in my life now, you know, and if people... Um, are into it great but um, I just I stand firm in that and I really you know um, believe in the music that I'm doing and I think the nice part about that is that a lot of you know I'm 37 um, I was 15 I was 16 when my first single came out um, so a lot of you know the teenagers that would have liked me then are probably around about the same age as me now so you know hopefully we're on I kind page. of the same yeah the same vibe and the same page and um, I think it's just yeah it's just where I'm at now but I do think um yeah, I love all of the new stuff that's out. I love, you know, how things are changing and progressing. I never want to be that person that's like, oh, well, when I, you know. Right, back no. in my day. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. So, I mean, basically, you kind of just evolve. It's all about just evolving from where you are now. Like, well, where yeah. you speak and then just moving towards where you are now. Yes, definitely. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Amanda's in the chat. Everyone's saying you're so inspiring. They're loving you. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm too busy talking to you. I forget that there's like a whole chat yes. that I can be looking at as well. That's so lovely. Thank you. Yes. Well, we are happy that you are back and, you know, we're excited to keep listening. I noticed that you didn't have a sophomore album. Is that yes. in the works in with your new label? Um, so <clears throat> I had actually started recording my second album. I kind of got stuck in, I'm not going to bore you with the boring side of the industry, mm -hmm. but you know, a lot of the la labels merged. At that point, my core team either lost their jobs or moved to different departments. Um, so I'd started recording, but it was with, you know, I all, all of a sudden had this new team that didn't, you know, necessarily get me, know me. Um, mm -hmm. So for a long time, it was, you know, that typical case of being shelved. Like I wasn't allowed, I was still in my deal. So I wasn't able to release music. Um, and then I couldn't leave either. So to be totally honest, don't get me wrong, that suited me at the time. Mm -hmm. um, I think I was ready for a little break anyway, but that album was kind of, I think there was an unreleased version out there. Wow. I don't know if my old label license, I don't really know. Um, but for me moving onward, yeah, I mean, absolutely there's an album to follow. Um, I think I was so focused on just getting these songs out and kind of, you know, the anxiety and the stress of that. Um, I understand. <laughs> yes. So I just need to, you know, take a little time out over Christmas and just really plan and hit the ground running for 2021. So most definitely there's an album coming. I have so much material 
um, <laughs> that I can't wait to share. Um, I just don't have a date on that yet, but uh, gotcha. yes, it's coming. Well, no pressure, like your song says, trust the process, it's yes. time. So we will be anticipating, and again, let us know. We would love to promote it. And then, of course, we'd love to have you back to talk about the new album. I would love that. Finally, Thank you, you know, so much. It. Yes, that yeah. would be amazing. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'm so happy that we got the opportunity to talk. Before we go, do you have any holiday plans or, you know, what's, you know, what are you doing to stay sane during the holidays and stay sane? I mean, wine. <laughs> no. Um, Honestly, I well, I cook every year, so I cook for about 20 people, even though there'll probably be like four or five of us at the house. Um, so plan on eating a lot, cooking a lot, um, and just chilling out. You know, I have a five, five and a half year old. Um, oh, yeah, so I saw Sage. She's, she's so pretty. <laughs> yes, thank you. So she, you know, I feel like having a kid in the house really makes Christmas, you know, makes yeah. it magical and special. Um, so very much so the focus is her and, you know, just Christmas, just having that time. So yeah, super low key, like, you know, everybody, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's so good. Again, Samantha, we love you. We support you. Mm -hmm. If you're on the live now and you haven't checked out her new, two new singles, please listen. They're amazing. Please you have do. your relaxed song and then you have your turn up song too. Giving so options. Giving options. Many <laughs> options. And then we are, we're hoping for that next album that's coming. So Definitely. just, you know, stay in the loop. Well, Thank you again. Thank um, you. I hope you enjoy the holidays. Continue to stay and safe. And you. And you. Yes. yes, definitely. But thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Of course. Yes. We, you, we love you. And we'll talk soon. Yes, definitely. More and more. Thank you. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Oh, and well done, by the way. If this was your first oh, live, you killed you. it. I loved it. Yes. Thank you. It was so nice to talk. Yes. <laughs> thank Bye. you. Bye. See you soon. <laughs>